Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Today is Sunday and it is 11 a.m. And I did not make it to church because somebody over here woke me up at 4 a.m. and did not fall asleep until 6.30. So this has been happening for, um, I would say almost two months now on and off. And I've shared this before, like there's allergies, I have allergies, longer list than my daughter, but generally speaking, gluten, um, dairy apparently is not an allergy, nuts are, gluten, nuts, dairy, no, gluten, nuts, eggs, and both of us are not allergic to dairy. Um, so yeah, she was allergic initially as a child and I abstained from it and maybe she grew out of it. I don't know, but now recently I did an allergy test. My allergy list is 24 items, random items like cabbage, kale, garlic, cantaloupe, um, almonds, like things I would not think about. So it's been kind of um, annoying, honestly, because I feel like my diet was already altered and now I'm altering it to be even more restricted so it's really frustrating but the things that happen when I eat the things that I shouldn't you know I get a lot of eczema and the eczema is on my hands and when that happens immediately that night she'll wake up like she won't sleep so I have been abstaining but there's always like a new product or a snack that I reach for thinking is going to be okay but you know I get affected and then it affects her where she wakes up I don't see any other reactions from her like she's not getting a rash um, and that might just be because she's not eating anything she shouldn't it is me who's consuming something that is affecting her so I really want to dive deeper into the science of that like maybe there's a histamine release within me that is also affecting her because it's released in my in my breast milk and you know breast milk has a lot of antibody immune properties that's supposed to help your child but maybe if you're struggling then your child is gonna struggle i don't know i don't i don't know enough about that stuff and i'm i found somebody online that i really want to consult um she's a functional medicine with a focus on mast cells and histamine response and so I'm like, maybe that's what I need. I had reached out to a functional nutritionist and that's who um, did my allergy test and all of that. Wait, I don't even know if they're a functional nutritionist, but they're a holistic doctor that's, you know, alternative medicine. So not alternative medicine, not conventional medicine. And so, yeah, I'm waiting for my stool sample. My allergy results came back. Um, Oh no, we have to run away and the gate is open. <laughs> Mommy, we can't go downstairs. Okay, so yeah, I I really just want to understand what's going on. And you know, I've said this before, but I really want to breastfeed until she's two. And I just feel like I'm being backed against the wall to where I cannot breastfeed, especially if we're gonna keep not sleeping. It's really starting to affect me mentally in the sense you go to bed thinking you're gonna get some rest, but then I keep being woken up and being woken up at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., I always say is the worst thing. Like it's one thing if I went to bed at like two and you woke up at seven, even though that's not enough sleep for me, like I can stomach that and I breastfeed her and she goes back to sleep. But being woken up at three, four is just, that's the best part of your sleep and it's really hard to fall asleep after that especially when you're breastfeeding because then you get hungry and so now i have to come downstairs and grab something to eat and i don't have a lot of um like i can't just grab a snack i can't have some peanut butter and crackers i have to eat food food i don't want to make food food at like three four or five a.m in the morning i just want to eat and go back to bed so that's been a struggle honestly mentally and I'm just getting to the point where it's making me not enjoy my nights and sometimes days especially if I'm like exhausted so I just want to get to the point where um I can like trust that when I go to sleep she's gonna stay asleep because she is a good sleeper she's not a terrible sleeper 
it's just this allergy thing. And in order for me to like make sure she's not affected by something, I at this point have to have like a carnivore diet, which I'm not opposed to, but sometimes I just want a little something different. And it has been a year and a month of me being extremely strict. So I'm just getting tired of it and I'm ready for a change. So um, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced anything like this. If you have any advice, any comments, maybe I'm way off base with the allergy thing and um, what's actually causing her to be affected with me being affected. I don't know, but I need some advice. And the lady that I found online that might be able to help, like a consultation with her is like 500 bucks. And we are already financially um, just in a tight spot. I don't want to say struggling because God has blessed us so much. But, you know, I don't, it's hard to just say, hey, here's $500. Like the testing that I've already done for myself and for her was, you know, about that much um, each. So it's a lot of money to um, just hand over, especially if you're not 100% sure it's going to give you results so far the results of knowing the allergies has helped it is helpful um, but I just know that there's something deeper going on and I would love to figure that out so I'm gonna keep sharing with you guys if you guys have experiences or if you know anything somebody who has experienced and just have any input any advice I would appreciate it I'm always on the I'm always like, man, I'm so grateful to God because, you know, I haven't worked for a year, almost and a half now, not of my own choosing. I thought I would go back to work after she was three months old, but I've struggled to get a job and it wasn't because people have said that I wasn't qualified or anything like that. Um, I really just believe God has blocked it for his own reasoning. And I think part of the reason is like what I'm going through right now. I have not had the best sleep. I struggled a lot with my son, but this is on another level um, as far as lack of sleep. So um, I'm grateful because even though we've lost one income, God has always just come through, you know, um, in different ways for us financially. And so I'm I'm grateful, but then I also struggle with wanting to work and wanting to do something for myself, which is why I started content creation. I started a digital marketing business and um, yeah, like it, it's, it has changed my life in a lot of ways to just be at home and go through the things that I've gone through for the better. And it's also kind of exposed like what I want to do. I want to, I want, I've always wanted to do something in functional nutrition because it's a passion of mine. Um, I do a lot of reading on it and that's how it's helped me change different aspects of my life and my family's life. But I think I want that to be a career because I'm super passionate about it. Are you eating my feet? Look at this child. Please don't eat my feet. They're so chafu. They're dirty, baby. Yeah, say chafu. Chaffle. Yeah, we don't need we don't need feet, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. You saying bye bye? Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> so bye bye. But you're right here, Mama. So yeah, it is a passion of mine. I'm really considering that to be a career, and in order for me to do that, I have to do. A nutritional practitioner program that I found online that in itself is gonna cost money but I feel like it's a great investment I'm just not ready to do it I don't think I can do it unless I'm not breastfeeding and that's I just said that out loud because that's just something that just popped into my mind without me realizing that that's what it has to be because prior to I was I've been thinking about doing it but I was like man can I do it as a stay-at-home mom with two kids trying to do this content creation thing and what I'm realizing is I can't do it if I'm not sleeping. I just, I will fail and I don't, I don't want to fail in that. So I think I have to wean her if I'm going to do it. And the, the next rotation for the program is in May. So she would be 18 months and I feel like that's acceptable. And that would be enough time for me to accept that that's what I'm doing. So yeah i'm glad i just said that out loud let me know what you guys think um everybody in my life is saying that i gotta quit at this point because i've done so much but if you're a mom and you've ever breastfed your baby 
when you look at your child and you're feeding your child, it is so bonding. So like, it's just the best feeling to know that I can provide for her in that way. <clears throat> Especially when she's like sad or whatever, Echo. you know, Echo. the middle of the night. Echo. Thank you so much. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So I, I want, I, okay, okay. Let's pick you up, up, up. Okay. So you guys, I, I would love to, I love to breastfeed. And that's why I was committed to doing for two years. Thank you. Unlike my son who quit at seven months, which devastated me. So I had to keep pumping until I was three months pregnant with her because Hello. my nausea was so bad I wasn't eating. And so my milk supply dropped. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Hi, sweet girl. Up. You're already up. <laughs> you can't get any more up. Um, so, yeah. I, I don't know. Y'all y'all give me some advice. Give me some input. I don't think I'll make a decision until I decide if I'm gonna um, meet with this lady online so that I can make a decision. And make sure I'm doing the right thing and make sure I'm not just like diagnosing myself just because of some things that I read online. You know, you can do that sometimes, especially when you're struggling. You're like, ooh, that's me. That's me. I got that. I got that. I got that. And it could be something completely different. And I know for me, my symptoms are seriously just eczema on my hand. I don't have bloating. I don't have indigestion. I don't have really anything else. Um, a lot of the other things are caused by lack of sleep, which culprit and my hand, obviously. So generally speaking, I'm pretty healthy outside of that. My cycle is regular. Like I feel very blessed, but I need sleep. So I'm gonna share with you guys once I figure it out, I'll let you guys know what happens and what I decide. But I just hope this helps somebody out there who might be struggling with some something similar. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with the day. Um, today, like I said, we did not make it to church. Me and my daughter slept until 11 and I used to feel mad guilty about stuff like that. But what I'm realizing is it's, mm -mm, if I need to sleep, I need to sleep. So my son and my husband will be coming back shortly, so. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend, and thank you for watching. Bye.